Okay, I think it's now time. So I'd like to start uh, my presentation. So, so hello everyone. So I'm Takushi Mosawa from Hitachi. So today I'd like to present the verifying transactions in the Hyperledger Fabric Ledger with the blockchain verifier. So first of all, I'd like to start with the, the why we need a verification in the blockchain ledger. So the one reason would be that the compliance to the regulations. So enterprise systems, uh, especially the banking systems, require some auditing that is required by the rules or the laws. So, and the second reason would be that the addition, adding the, some reliability to the smart contracts and the blockchain-based systems. So, <clears throat> um, the, such kind of the additional checks on the past transactions or the data in the blockchain-based system will include that uh, one is included the complex checks that need too much time to perform during the execution of the transaction, or some checks that need a comparison with the external systems, or the checks that need verification with the other data that became after the transaction transactions are invoked. The third reason would be the detection of faults in the blockchain nodes. It is to detect some corruption of data that is caused by some hardware faults or the software bugs that, in, that whether it is uh, smart contracts or that blockchain platforms. So if that could happen, um, the very regularly the checking the contents of the ledger will detect such corruption, and then, and then that the, we can some do some fix on that. Uh, corruption. So that to increase the availability of the, the blockchain nodes or the blockchain network, which that the peer is uh, participating in. So to do this verification, um, we, we are developing the tool that is named the blockchain verifier, a tool to verify the blockchain ledgers. The target users of the, this tool we include the internal or the external auditors or the blockchain network administrators. And this, this tool has the three main functions. One is the, to verify the integrity of the ledgers and snapshot and compares them with the, those in the other peers so that it can detect local alteration of the ledgers or the, some uh, local change or faults that is caused by some faults in that uh, blockchain nodes. The second function is to allow application specific logic to perform additional checks. I will explain it later, but uh, it is to detect bugs or the flaws in the smart contract logics, or to allow additional checks required by the regulations, such as the um, anti money laundering checks that is required in the banking transferring systems. The third is to generate reports for the checks that is performed. And currently, that this tool is supporting the Hyperledger Fabric version 1.4 and version 2. Point something. And it is available at the Hyperledger, it, it is actually approved as a one of the Hyperledger labs and available at this URL. So please check it out later at this URL. Okay. And this figure shows the example use case of this tool. So in the auditing scene. So the user and this auditor. The auditor can be internal. Internal means that it's, it, they are in the in independent section inside some organization. Or it can be external. That means that they can be the, in the external organization, which has some contact with to the, some particular organization that is participating in the blockchain network. And they can do the um, check or the verification using this blockchain verifier, um, either is a periodically or the continuously. Periodically means that they, that is is in the case in the traditional auditing, the like that the performing that this kind these kind of the checks in, at the end of the quarter or the year or the half year or whatever, et etc. But if the, this blockchain verifier is connected to the actually the blockchain network, they can do the checks continuously 
that is that uh, perform that is that uh, continuously flowing the transaction that is performed that is invoked in the blockchain network into the this two. Okay. So and uh, this figure shows that the uh, input and output and the checks performed in the this two. So the input is uh, uh, obvious. That is a ledger of the blockchain. And the output is at the verification results or the report. That is what checks is performed in, with, in, by the this tool and what was the result for the checks. And the checks that performed in the blockchain verifier that includes that the, for the ones for the blocks or the ones for the transactions. Um, so that includes uh, for the blocks, these two can this cool this, sorry these two checks at the hash values or the signatures for the blocks and the transactions. What are for the transactions? It includes that uh, input versions or the invariants inside that the transactions. And uh, for the checks that is performed that is performed by the this blockchain verifier, there are two types two levels of the checks. One is a platform level checks and the other is application level checks. The platform level checks are independent of the applications and common to the specific plat blockchain platforms. So this, is, this will be the general checks on the immutability and the consistency and the consensus. And it, it is performed by the plugin to the blockchain verifier. For example, that the fabric block plugin, as this name shows, performs checks for the hyperledger fabric ledgers. The second type of the checks is application level checks. So these checks are specific to each application. So this should be written by the application developers. And the blockchain verifier provides APIs to, to write the check programs to such to write the such check programs with the application developers. And the what properties? Or should be the checked by the, this blockchain verifier. So the properties will be the. So these four properties should be the provided by the blockchain platform, blockchain systems. And uh, here I show that the immutability and the consensus and the consistency and the correctness. And this table shows that uh, which checks will check will verify the validate the properties. Which properties? For example, the for the Immutability, these platform level checks, such as the hash value checks on the blocks and transactions, and the signatures on the blocks and endorsements, and hash comparison with the other peers will make sure ensure that these that ledger has that immutability. For the consensus, the signers check and the policy checks will provide uh, will um, ensure the consist consensus. And the versions of the read write set in the transactions in the ledgers will ensure that there is a consistency in that ledger. And for the correctness, we um, actually that the platform level checks will not provide the correctness because the, the platform itself does not know that the way, what is correct for the smart contracts or the transactions that is invoked by the product that are using that uh, smart contracts. So the application level checks should write, should check such kind of properties. In the other words, these three properties will be checked by the platform, platform level checks. And uh, for the, and the only for the correctness, the application level checks should be checked for these properties. So application level check. Um, so these are the as I said, that, that they are the check logics that should be the written by the application developers. But uh, what checks should this logic should perform? So this shows some example. One is to run another logic that is equivalent to the smart contract. So this will ensure that the, that the smart contract is correct by the compar comparing the result that is yielded by that uh, another implementation. That is that uh, making sure that the correctness by the using the diversity in the implementation. The second example would be that the checking the invariance in the smart contract. For the trivial uh, example, for the when the money is transferred, the, trans the transaction should 
so that the input, the sum of the input for the, the transaction should be always the sum of, this should be identical to the sum of the output of the, the transaction. So we call it the invariance and the, to seeking such kind of an invariance will ensure that the correctness of the smart contract with the transactions that is the result of the smart contract. And the second would be that the performing the additional checks against the external systems. And the blockchain verifier provides the APIs to access keys and transactions with the check logics so that they can write this kind, perform these kind of the checks. So I will show that some one example checker, application level checker for the Fabcar um, smart contract. Fabcar is an example chain call that is in the Hyperledger Fabric repository. It is to manage the car assets and the two function, two main functions in the uh, Fabricor smart contracts. One is a create car that is that adds a car into the ledger, and the, the other is a change car owner to change the that is to change the car owner. And the checks to be performed that this um, this shows that some checks that should some example checks to be performed by the, this application level check, and. Uh, so I will show that this for I will highlight this the second one the create car function does not overwrite the existing key. Actually, that, that this is a, um, there's a, some bug in the hype, sorry the, this chain code, and uh, the chain code does not check that if the key already exists or not when creating a new car. So so using so the using the same ID for the new for the new car. To that this is create a car function will result in that overwriting the old car assets by that the new car without any checks. So this shows this is the, some example script that uh, do the that check. This is written by the type script and this transaction provided by the blockchain verifier. So this is the, what the application level check uh, developer is expected to write for the application level checks. So first it checks when, what is the function for the, this transaction and it gets the right set and uh, it tries to uh, get the value for that, uh, the key, the same key that is the new car's key uh, from that the state that is available at the time of that invoke of the, this invocation of the, this transaction. If this is successful, that means that there is a key with the same name at the time of the, this transaction. So this checker will uh, report error that is a failure for the, this check. So actually that uh, calling that uh, using the same ID for that uh, two uh, sophisticated transactions create the car functions will be successful, but actually that this should not be successful. So this checkout script will find that this is error. And actually this is a result of that uh, uh, running that running the, this check against the real ledger and it will report this check failed. And it will um, report in the JSON format and this includes that which checks uh, failed in for this ledger. Okay, so recently, so this is the, just a summary of the, the recent update for the this two that is to support the Hyperledger Fabric Ledger, and uh, it, it it includes that the, some feature to compare the ledgers with the multiple ledgers from the other peers, and we are planning to integrate some more tools that is available that is the proposed for the Hyperledger Fabric, and so on to for the better compatibility with the Hyperledger Fabric Ledgers. So um, again, that, that this tool is available at the Hyperledger Labs and available at the, this repository URL. And we welcome you any contribution or feedback. And also you can, feel, so please feel, feel, feel free to contact me with using the email or the rocket chat or whatever. So thank you very much. So I think, yeah, I have no question here. So if you have any question, please, yeah, contact me in any of the, the, these two, this, yeah, contact, contact.